What is going on, you guys? Riley on Jemmy Inflatable Fans 98, and I got a cool review for you guys today. This is the new for 2018 Jemmy four foot tall alien inflatable. Um, sold at Walmart this year, as you might tell by the box. I got this guy the other day um, for obviously $15, um, as you can see on the box as well. Um, this this one really caught my eye this year. I really like this one. Um, normally, I don't really buy a lot of four footers for Halloween unless it's like really something to do directly with Halloween. Like I'm not, I wouldn't say most of them are anyway. I guess you could say, but like, you know, this is really the only kid friendly one. I guess you could say that I was interested in this year. Like I really don't like the pirate dog. I don't like the you know the witch and the Frankenstein and those types of ones. There, this is really the only kid friendly one type one that I liked. Um, I also got another one that I'll be doing a review on soon. Um, but this is the one that really caught my eye. I really like the idea of an alien. Um, obviously I've mentioned in the past and I'll mention it again. I don't like the fact that they had to add a pumpkin to it. I kind of wish it was just the alien by itself. That would have been much cooler. Um, but of course, you know, Jemmy always has to slap a pumpkin on something and make sure it's, it looks like it's Halloween, but, uh, not complaining. Um, this is a really cool design. Uh, there was a, a Christmas alien that was circulating around for a while. Not sure where that one was sold. Um, but they're, you know, they used to be all over eBay at one point and maybe it was a Canadian exclusive, but probably not probably just some store I don't have around me to, to go to. Um, but this one's cool. Um, only four foot tall again. I'm not sure how it lights up. Obviously it's led. So it's going to light up kind of weird and look weird at night. But anyway, guys, I'm going to take out of the box and inflate it. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so it's all taken out of the box here. So let's plug it in. Wait a few seconds for the fan to start up there, um, but this thing shouldn't take too, too long to inflate. I haven't seen it in person. They didn't have a display out of it. I mean, it's still kind of early for that anyway, but um, obviously you can probably already tell it's a smaller one. Obviously, it's four foot, so um, only thing I'm worried about is the head is really, really big for the body, so I'm not sure how that's really going to hold up. Um, Especially when it gets rained on because all the rain is going to collect in the head and then it's not going to stand up very well. And I can already tell it's kind of leaning back towards the uh, the door there. So I'm not sure how it's going to work. But nonetheless, this thing's really cool. Um, for $15, you can't beat that. Um, Walmart's always got the best deals on inflatables. So, um, and they've got some great ones this year, especially for Halloween. Plenty of really great ones. Um, so if you guys are on a budget and trying to buy you know, trying to get some Halloween decorations, definitely go to Walmart. You know, they've got this one and plenty of others, like the, like I mentioned before in the beginning of the video, they have like a pirate dog. I'm not a fan of it. I'm more of a fan of like the, you know, obviously inflatables themselves are kind of kid friendly, but I'm more into like the scarier inflatables, I guess you could say. So that's why I don't buy those other types. Um, but this one is kind of more kid friendly. You can see it's smiling and stuff like that. So it's kind of more kid friendly, but you know, it's, uh, it's still really cool. And like I said, it caught my eye. I had to get it. Um, and yeah, again, the led lights, there's two. So one behind the head there and one kind of behind the pumpkin in the middle of the back there. Um, you know, the pumpkins actually attach the body. As you can see, it's kind of weird. I figured it'd be like a full-size pumpkin, like full rounded pumpkin with it holding it, but it's kind of different than how, kind of different than how it looks on the box. Um, but yeah, the LED lights, again, not a fan, but turn off the lights and you can kind of see it. Again, the video doesn't do its justice. It kind of makes it look like it's glowing green in the video, but it really doesn't, especially when it's out in the yard and there's not any like walls around it, I guess, to, to kind of illuminate the light. Um, it will look a little weird, but Nonetheless, this is a great inflatable, and I definitely recommend picking it up, guys. Again, like I said, if you're on a budget, you want to get some Halloween decorations, go to Walmart. Walmart's got, I mean, other than inflatables, they've got a lot of other outdoor decorations um, for super cheap. Um, so, I mean, Walmart's one of my favorite places to shop for inflatables. They've got some great ones, especially for Halloween this year. They've got some awesome inflatables. Um, you know, I've already bought three from Walmart. One big one that I will be doing a review on very soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but... Yeah, guys, very, very cool. Get some close-ups of it here. Um, I love the fact that they did an alien finally and love the fact that it's only $15. You know, usually, you know, these small four-footers, you see them at Home Depot or at Lowe's and they're like $30, $29.99. Actually, Lowe's has definitely 
you know, lower their prices a little bit, in my opinion, on some of their inflatables. Last year, they had like a lot of um, four footers. Actually, I don't even know. I'm not sure. I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, most of the four footers at Lowe's in the past have been like $30, $35. And they actually, you know, besides the licensed Minion this year, that's $30. Just because it's licensed, I think they have to ask a little bit more because of the license, license fee, whatever. But, like, the little ones, like... You know, like this year, like the Nerdy Ghost, and I think there's another one. I'm not, don't remember exactly what it is. That one's only twenty dollars, so that's also a good deal for an inflatable. And again, like I said, I think Lowe's really went down on their prices. So, but anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review, Riley on Jimmy Inflatable Fans ninety eight. Like and subscribe.